Howdy all, the old captain here, and I saw the news today. I saw the news today, oh boy. And um, I was kind of surprised because it turns out the guy that shot up everybody in California wasn't white. It smelled white. It smelled desperate white guy got laid off or something like that. It wasn't. It was um, actually another message from the religion of peace. And I'm sure plenty of you are like, how do we, you feel helpless. You feel helpless because like, oh, we're just letting people in. The Democrats on the left hate the Americans' guts. They hate this country. They're going to be happier to see it destroyed through multiculturalism or just outright terrorism. And, and for those of you that actually love the country, not to mention you love yourself, you'd like to stay alive. So what, what do I do? How do we... How do I... Huh? You remember when you all thought maybe we could get back to Ronald Reagan? Some of you were foolish enough to think we could get back to like the 40s and the 50s, like having um, June Ward Cleaver and nuclear families. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to happen. Anyway, so what What do you do? Well, there's three things you do. Number one, you get a gun. And not just get a gun, you get your concealed carry permit, because that's very important too. <clears throat> and then you also carry it. You practice so that if this ever happens within your facility, see, you can't protect the world. You can't protect the country. You can't protect the nation. You can at least protect yourself and those nearby you. So if you have a gun, you train with it, you're at least going to do what you can. And uh, this is one of the main reasons why the United States really, people are somewhat, and the world knows this, the world knows we have guns all over the place. But if you don't have a gun, and you're like, what do I do? And, and you're sick and tired of feeling helpless, well, that's one thing you can do. When enough people do that, then it actually is a global effect. I mean, the, what was it? One of the Japanese generals says, invade the United States, they got a gun behind every blade of grass. So that is one thing that deters people and also is why a lot of these things are cowardly attacks you know flying planes into buildings and stuff like that so that's one thing you could do uh the next thing you could do terribly sorry if you see muhammad or someone who looks like a muslim maybe you don't get close to him i'm not saying here and then they're not gonna say you'll be discriminatory no actually i do have muslim friends um and that way you could kind of vet them out and smell them out right and you say well do you are you discriminatory yes it's my life <laughs> you you always discriminate i'm not talking against right like am i going to have a sandwich am i going to have a hot dog you discriminate uh and i do not advise discriminate against all muslims at all uh because there are some interesting people I have several friends and you will pass up on these friendships but i'm sorry and i apologize to my muslim friends but they know this they understand this it's like how can you tell in the meantime like, you know, how do I know that guy over there is like one of the good Muslims and, and not one of the crazy ones that's got a suicide vest? You see a Muslim walk in, or some guy that looks Muslim, you, or, or a girl even. Someone's got the burqa, and you're in a predominantly, say, a Swipple uh, restaurant. You say, hmm, maybe I ought to get out of here and go have a cigarette and get away from the blast radius. And I'm sorry, guys, uh, for those of you Muslim Americans who love the country and you are and you're not terrorists and you're the good Muslims, I understand that's the majority. You guys got to police your own. You got to report these guys in because, I mean, everyone's going to suffer. I mean, people are going to get blown up, including you. You know, th these, these explosions are not discriminatory. Um, but also, if this shit keeps happening, I can only imagine what it's like to be a Muslim now in France. And uh, especially if you're a new import, you know, like we have a, a couple of clients over at Asshole Consulting. And they, um, you know, they go, oh, I want to come to you and I want to become an engineer. And, and they, they love America. It's like, guys, you have got to police your own. You find somebody, you report that fucker in immediately to the FBI. Okay, any suspicious activity. Um, you you, you got to prove that you want to be here. And, then you, and none of this, like, well, we're, you know, it's, it's, my, it's my cousin, Rahib. And he's a little weird. Yeah, you know what? If he's a little weird and he stopped drinking, you better fucking call him in immediately to the FBI. <laughs> and then the third thing. Now, the first two things are things that are short-term and will lower your risk of death or maiming and are within your control and will have immediate effects because it's just you deciding to be more defensive and uh, doing something to protect yourself. The third thing is this. Maybe you could start voting Republican. I'm just saying, I'm just saying this, this, this shooting occurred in where? Oh, California. And it was San Bernardino. Do they vote Republican there? No, because Republicans are whatever the hell they say about Republicans. Uh, Republicans are the only ones that are like actually going to do anything about this. And that, and, and you can't just vote timidly for the timid Republicans. You have to like, you know, get a Ronald Reagan, like, fuck yes, we want you guys back. Please do something. 
even a George Bush the second, you know, who actually, you know, whatever you, you may dislike about him, he was a fighter. You know, he he did he he was a fighter, uh, and that those are the people that in the long term will enact the policies to cut off immigration, to uh, say, hey, where are you from? No, you can't come here. No, terribly sorry, you can't. Nope, no, 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 no. And then actually maybe say, maybe we go round some of these people up and maybe we uh, either, well, I was going to say deport, but I just say kill. But anyway, I know that diversity and multiculturalism and being politically correct is more important than your own lives. I know that. So whatever you do, don't do that because you might be called a name. You might be called a racist or a bigot. And, and boy, that, that certainly is worse than death, isn't it? Yeah, you, 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 you brainwashed lemmings are all independent-minded. You go ahead and do that. So best of luck. Toodles.